In percentages, there is one more concept, and that concept is of multiplying factor. Though it's very close to what we have already seen, that is successive percentage change. But nevertheless, in case we have command on uh, multiplying factor, probably things can be done at a much faster pace. Let me explain you that. See, <coughs> let's say uh, in case of compound interest, I have kept my money certain amount uh, at an interest of 10% for the first year, 20% in the second year, and 30%. In the third year. Fine. So, if I want to find what will be the percentage increase after three years, the question can also be framed in a form that let's say there's a population, initial population of town is X, it is increasing at the rate of 10% in the first year, 20% uh, in the second year, and 30% in the third year. So, what is the percentage increase after three years? So, can be directly done. Let's say that my initial population is 100 or let's say my initial principal amount is equal to 100. So my answer could directly be 100 into 1.1 into 1.2 into 1.3. So this will give me the net value after 3 years. So this is the direct approach. So in case you are wondering that how is this golden figure of 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 are coming. It's very simple, something that we have done in our school. Initially, 100 was increasing by 10%. So after first year, it would have been 100 plus 10% of 100. If you solve this, you take 100 common, this will become 1.1. So this is the population after first year. Now the population after second year, the increase of 20% is happening on this amount. So it will be initial, which is 100 into 1.1, plus 20% 20 of 100 into 1.1. If you take 100 into 1.1 common, you will be left with 1 from here and 0.2 from here which is nothing but 100 into 1.1 into 1.2. Now what is increasing in the third year is an increment of 30% which is happening on this amount. So it is going to be 100 into 1.1 into 1.2 plus 30% 30 of 100 into 1.1 into 1.2. So if you take 100 into 1.1 into 1.2 common from here and from here you will be left with 1 from here and 0.3 for him from here which will directly give you 100 into 1.1 into 1.2 into 1.3 so this is a shortcut for solving this question